Hey, welcome to The Daily Beard for May 17th, 2019. It is beautiful out. It is awesome. Um, it's a gorgeous day. I was off work today because uh, it's a long weekend in, in Canada. Um, it's Victoria Day, I believe, on Monday. And so my wife told me to take today off because she wanted to do some stuff. So she took today off and I took today off. So we got a four day weekend, which is nice. Um, so uh, yeah, it's beautiful out now. She was like this more often. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is movie remakes, kind of. My we're, we're celebrating my daughter's birthday. Her birthday was on the 12th, but we go out for dinner usually, and we didn't get to do it last weekend, so we're doing it this weekend. And so um, with that, uh, she gets to pick whatever movie we watch that night and whatever. And so she's picking a remake um, to watch because she just really wants to watch it, um, which is... 12 Angry Men. Now, 12 Angry Men, we, we've seen the original. We own the original. It's amazing. Um, but HBO did a remake uh, years ago, a couple years back, with Jack Lemmon. And it is just fantastic. And I actually saw it first uh, when I was a bit younger. I saw the remake before I saw the original. And it is just fantastic. No, it's like nothing is ever going to be as good as the original. Don't get me wrong, but it is great. The cast they, they put together was really was stellar. George C. Scott was in there. Uh, Edward James was almost. Uh, Tony Danza was even in there. It's 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 a pretty diverse cast, and it's for a, a modern telling of the story. And of Twelve Angry Men, and Twelve Angry Men is a great movie. But it made me think about remakes, and not all remakes are bad. There's there's a lot of remakes that are awful. Um, they keep they just keep remaking things, and because you know, I, I Disney's just remaking every movie they've ever made as an animated movie. They're now making live action, even though Lion King is technically still an animated movie because it's CGI for the whole thing. But whatever. Uh, those kind of remakes, like, they're cash grabs. Um, that's why Disney's making The Lion King and Aladdin and all this kind of stuff. Is They're cash grabs. There are remakes, though, that are good. Like, Ben-Hur, the one with Charlton Heston, is actually a remake. Um, most people don't know that. Um, but it's a great film. Um, the Thing, I think the, possibly the best remake ever is The Thing. And it's it's a remake, but it's also a reimagining because The Thing, like the th John Carpenter's The Thing is a remake of The Thing that came from outer space. And I've seen both films and they're they're similar, but vastly different also in a lot of ways. And um, But he, he kind of took the premise of the first one and then just made his own thing out of it. Um, yeah, not all remakes are bad. Saying that, there's a lot, I, I just don't want to watch generally. Um, they remade The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo with David Fincher. David Fincher, fantastic director. I just didn't, and they made it with like Daniel Craig and, and I think it was Naomi Rapace, I think. No, it was, I can't remember. Naomi Rapace was the original one, um, was from the original one. Um, but it's just like they remade it. They, like I know the original one and I love the original one. And, and it's just like, I just don't care. And like there's a movie called Let the Right One In where they remade it. And like the minute I can generally tell because I watch movies and I go, they're going to remake this because it's a foreign movie. There's a movie that just came out called uh, The Upside, which with uh, Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston, which is a remake of in, in The Untouchable um, or Untouchables, uh, which is a French film. And like sometimes they're OK, sometimes they're terrible. I don't hate all remakes. I wish for most part, at least if people are gonna watch a remake, they'll watch the original so they have some comparison. Most of the time the originals are better, very few. Like The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing is probably like the gold standard of remakes, but um, not all remakes are bad. Not all remakes are good. They remade Ben-Hur a little while ago. <laughs> like again, and turned it into an action film. Um, I don't know. The, the, a lot of time remakes are, are done as cash grabs or they're, they're reimagining. So they, they, they're doing everything right now is, is flopping with gender roles. So they just remade what women want. Now it's what men want. Um, the Ghostbusters, obviously. Um, but uh, they just remade, literally last weekend came out, The Hustle, which The Hustle is a, a remake with the gender roles switched for uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. 
they just get, they're going to keep doing this. Hollywood doesn't have a whole lot of originality, never did. So, you know, there's only so many stories you can tell, so they're just going to keep remaking them. I don't hate all of them. A lot of them I wish didn't exist, but they're, they're you know, for every 10 made, there's going to be one good one and there's going to be nine. There's going to be like one or two that aren't bad and then there's going to be seven stinkers. My math's correct. So, but not all of them suck. But I would prefer original ideas. That's all I got for today. So, thanks for watching and uh, God bless.